How's it going, y'all? Welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, welcome to the channel. You found yourselves looking up some Melga versus some Slugs. Got Tamer Jambo on the right. UK Judge, we do have Isaac on the left playing the Melga. No matter anything, to set up uh, labels the Ukomon and the Mem Blocker just to try and stop the Gabumon from getting too much. We're just going to evolve into Gurumon in the back. And then we're going to get that hatch gain one and just setting up the start ski nice and quick. Most of Jambo's games do kind of end in like genuinely 10 minutes. But this one we're in for the long haul. I'm going to go into Alterus. Alterus, I think, gets to bounce. Yeah. I think he gets to bounce something. I'm going to get to play the map for free. And then we're going to have the read to find off of the the mat on play and then we can pitch two sources to gain the protection I thought Alterus mode had a bounce but I guess it just gives more battle protection it's gonna go cool boy start main fits game one nothing in raising so it's gonna take him a second new him on ooh and then he's gonna get the D digivolve so straight from a five down to a three and then nothing with seven cost or lower can attack gonna find the Gabumon X, cool boy, gonna draw one and then gonna check top four for a Garurumon and an X antibody. So we'll take the Melga and then. Okay, we're Garurumon X, that makes sense. And then has to trash one card as well because he did add a card to hand. So it sets up quite nicely. Matt gonna gain this. Look how much memory we're on. Garurumon. I'd be shocked if we don't get to see some sort of clear here. It has to be uh, over seven cost. It's what, like D Digivolve and then pretty much Congo all on one card. Do we go the Wegerum on Ace here? It's not ideal. I think you would want a better one, but draw. Let's draw one trash one because it's got a significant number of cards in hand. Uh, okay, I guess he has just missed the he's just missed the trash one. It do be like that. Gonna go into Wegerumon. Not using proto form. Instead just gonna pitch two to get the restand. And there we go, we are gonna set everything up and we're gonna go to two, start of main. Ooh, Monza X, play out the Nimemon, which is then going to hit the minus eight. And then cheeky little Tuarmon for one over a level four is going to get it. And then we're actually going to gain the memory off of it because there is an overflow in that stack. Who come on, going to get picked off in security. Still probably just going to keep the Chu. Oh, okay. Now I feel like you can just have the Chumon go in. Going to... Go with the Louis and then push out. So now I can't reduce play cost. Now I can't gain memory back. Very, very solid floodgate turn here from Jambo. And with no when Digivolvings, this makes it pretty hard to come back into. I feel like you're still just kind of cooked this turn. Has to take the blue source, the Garurumon. And if you're going to have to pass turn, rather than Cool Boy, I think I'd prefer to just see Garurumon in the back. But, I mean, I guess he's going to be able to push out a Gabumon, go into Gurumon, and then Gar Garu X, get the cool boys. So, I guess he's setting up for the next turn to get more value. If he even really gets the next turn, because Warumon Zimon is a sec plus one, but I guess it's on a Venusmon, so it's not going to get as much. Tuamon is going to die. Does Tuamon not have save? I don't really know what you'd want the save for, but, I mean, I guess it could save under the Sasuke if you wanted to. Either way, we're going to set up for two. It's going to go training and then Melga effects in order to reduce. But is there a... Oh, is there a sick minus one on the board? Is Monzemon... Is Monzemon a fl floodgate? No, Monzemon's a target sec plus one. So I guess it... It should be able to do it, shouldn't it? That's what we're going to swing and then when all turns when it's suspended, unsuspend. 
Nice little break there. We're going to swing, try and get the extra check in. I'm going to go protoform, protoform, go into Melga, unsuspend, bounce the lowest body. And then we're going to swing in the value on security. Oh, does it not have... It doesn't have the protection because it went for the warp. Oh, and it can't evade either. That's so unfortunate. He had Blitz Omni ready and everything. Shout out to Gallant. We did have some Gallant footage, but just wasn't wasn't quite what we wanted. But instead, the spirit of Tommy NT coming in through security to just lum out. Oh, I like this actually. Go protoform here. If you go protoform, if you go protoform, then you get the bounce. Oh, please recognize. Wait, no. Protoform. Eh, bounce is level four. Never mind. But even then, it still, I guess, will heal you one. Because you're still in danger of getting hit by Monza X2 checks. Yeah, Monza X2 checks here. I still think the protoform might have been the way, even though I was uh, low key trolling. I think that that, that might have been it. I'm gonna get that to one. Gonna play the Gabumon, just on play draw. I think we're both expecting it to just be a bajillion memory getting cut, so yeah, we are just gonna scoop up and go to game number two. Alright, both of them having to go for a mulligan on this one. Gonna have that Garumon going first, and this opens up quite nicely. Finding the promo off the training. Shumon in the back. Ooh, going for Nume X. Interesting. Not an ideal one. I'm surprised he didn't go Uko Chumon like he did last time. I guess just feeling that he was safe that there wasn't going to be as much of a problem without like a mat. So it's just going to pass over the one memory back. And uh, now we're going to have the Chumon come up. Go into Monze. Monze not going to get too much except set up the on deletion effect for later. Gonna play for the cool boy. He chooses not to actually go out, which is gonna cost him because now he can't use the. Now he can't use the Garumon, so we're just gonna go for a mat to pick up the Guru Wegarumon X. Now we finally have Uko played down and back. Monza X sets up. And there's gonna be the Chumon. Double mem blocker, which is gonna make things pretty difficult. He's gonna hit in, has jamming thanks to Satsuki, and then it's gonna be Rui. Comes down for three, turns himself sideways on the promotion, the hatch, the regain. So we're looking pretty good there for the Ukomon, the one choke. So it's cool boy, and then we're going to do the draw two, trash two. And then if there's Garumon, gain a memory. Matt Shida, gain a memory. W. Can't go in, you can't use the training for that one, so he's going to have to go for three. He's going to go into Alterus though for zero. He's going to get. Oh, double, double bounce on the mem blockers. Cheeky. Gonna go protoform, protoform, then forces him to evolve into an X antibody for reduced cost. So he has to commit to going into Wegurumon X if he wants to. He's gonna go for the swing, has battle protection. Gonna get two draws off the Gabu and the Garurumon. And there's gonna be the. Oh, that one's popped the lowest. Yeah, so he, I guess Isaac doesn't have the erupted one, so it's not going to be the restand. It's just going to be pop a level four. That one's mad annoying, to be fair. We're going to go into the Wegarumon X with the protoform for cost zero. And we get the trash to restand. What is he trying to trash? So the second Guru X, which is going to get the unsuspend. Going to bring back the... It has to be the same color, so... Again, yeah, he's on, it's, it's on like an interesting build of like the blue base and the purple base. He, to be fair, he can still evolve for three and draw for... Draw for Evo and then can just pitch three to gain back his memory. Jambo, a man of the people, fixing the unreadable game state that uh, is... <laughs> that is Isaac's map every time. Let me know in the comments though, have you ever seen a player with a messier, a less readable game state on their playmat? We are going to swing, I think, we're, yeah, we're going to be forced to, wait, when attacking, did he not pitch one to pop the lowest? Ah, oh, okay, he's just going to go for the bounce instead, yeah, fair enough. 
I still think I would have preferred to see the delish. Oh no, because there's deletion in the stack that will float into a new main. Yeah, this is better. Why are we checking what cards number of cards are in? Ah, Gallopmon comes down. Let's go. <laughs> Let's go. That is very funny. Yeah, the spirit of Gallopmon lives on. It's actually just come through. I think, to be fair, this card has been cut from the list, or he's getting cut from the list because it didn't come up in his other games, but yeah. This is definitely putting him in a good position for Melga. It's going to get the... Maddish Shida is when you play or drop a Gallant, I guess. I'm convinced he's supposed to be trashing if you have more than six cards in hand. Either way, we're still setting up nicely. Monza X is going to get the sec minus one, 3k. Right, so, I mean, we've got a cool board, we've got a mat. The Chumon should be pretty easy to bounce in all honesty. We're not going to gain any memory thanks to the Chumon blocking it. But we should be able to... Oh, we are just, yeah, we are just getting value instantly. Should be able to get the freeze on the Gallant thanks to the Wegarumon anyway. Wait, you didn't go... You didn't just go Gabu X straight away? I mean, I guess he's just setting up a rookie. Cool boy draw. Ooh, I mean, he has the one of. So, correct the training, go into it for one. Can you just... Yeah, eight cards in hand. Yeah, I think you can just cook him now, right? Swing on suspend, swing on suspend. Yeah, he just might have lethal hit. Genuinely might just have lethal. We get to play out a Matashida. And we're going to take the Melga, so that way we can use it if we need. Not going to be able to do it during when attacking step. We're going to get the block now to force out two layers of protection. Which, pretty clean, to be fair. Uh, I think that might just force him to go into... Oh, he's going into that one? Okay, he's doing it with Protoform. So it's going to cost one less. I think I would have liked to see uh, the old Melga, so that way he could get uh, old Wegaroom on, so that way he could go into the Chumon. Because he's not popped the Chumon, and he's not bounced it. If he'd gone into the old one, he could have bounced a level 4 or lower, bounced the Chumon back to hand, and then you're able to get 3 off of this swing. Uh, he is going to swing, use the Melga effect, I guess, to pop the Chumon. Oh, but eight cards in hand, so he's gonna lose the... He's gonna lose it. It's still gonna be two card, two checks, though. Yeah. So he is gonna pitch one, and he's just gonna go for the single check, I guess. Yeah, he's just gonna go for the single check. I mean, it's fine, because he's gonna evolve for one draw, and the Gallopmon is stunned anyway. Oh, mercy mode. That's filth. Proto goes to the top, we're gonna to bring back something. Gonna take the Melga. Oh, I'm choosing not to take the one off. I mean, I guess the Melga just means he can go back over it. And then, yeah, bottom deck, 10 cards, off the Mercy. And then that's the bottom. Isaac getting to take a look at it before it disappears. We all know, no one is gonna remember what those cards were. And uh, despite Jamo's best efforts, the uh, messiest mat in the West continues to do value. So we know that Protoform's gonna get burned from the top straight away when Mercy gets played. It's just about whether he can find some sort of search. We are gonna go for the Wegaroom on X. I think I would've liked to see like a searcher or something dropped, but it is what it is. We're just gonna trash two cards in order to get, I don't know, more cards than trash. Not really sure what the point. Oh, right, to bring back Melga. Tap both mats. This time we can go into the Ace. And now we can trash up to three to get that memory back. Gonna trash two. Swing. Pop the lowest level. Is gonna clean it by pitching one. And then we're gonna get the unsuspend. Is gonna swing. Oh, he's gonna give up the damage. Gonna swing and then Blitz Omni. So we are gonna go into game three. Matrix Digivolution. <laughs>
What's poppin' tamers? We're back with Play Armor once again. A bunch of people ask me why I drink Play Armor, and it's because they sponsor me. Duh. Jokes aside, I actually was drinking Play Armor before all of that because I actually don't have much of a sweet tooth, and I find a lot of energy drinks to be too sweet, especially a lot of the powder brands. But the no sugar approach for Player Ammo and their focus on more tart, like sour flavors, really suits my palate. The Fruit Punch is really just fruity and packs a nice kick. The Blue Raspberry is really, really nice as well, nice and sour, kind of like when you get those slushies. If you want something a little bit on the sweeter side, there's the Strawberry Lemonade, which is more strawberry than it is lemonade. And they do have the lemon flavors as well. And I can tell you for a fact that the new black cherry flavor goes foolish. Uh, but uh, yeah, the way I mix mine is by getting the dry powder in and then getting a little bit of water in and just mixing it around to try and make a slurry. Then I add up to half the bottle and shake it a baby. I'm having to take their mulligans for this one. So let's see what they've got. We go into the third one. It's going to be Jambo going first this time. This time we're going to see Uka. We're going to see Gera. Trash one. Draw two. He's had the Gabum on every single time. And this time we see the one of in the back. Okay, going to commit a Gabu. So that way he can go Gabu X over it. Only finds the Garumon and the next antibody. Please build up with the one in the back. Yeah, there we go. Uka going to hatch game one. Second Uka. So now we're going to start cooking the gas. It's going to float into a new Gera. And then we're going to go into the Monze. Monze play out the Nume. Nume gives the rush and jamming. We have basically spent like no memory here to get the value. Two checks in. Nume get or oh, Uko goes. And then not choosing to have the Nume swing in with rush and jamming, interestingly. Instead just gonna go for the Chikurimon to stop the reduced play cost. There's so much damage done. Where Gururumon is gonna come through. Gonna get the extra value. We're gonna get the draw. Gonna get a bounce on the level three, because the Nume is a level four. Evolve. And then we should be able to pitch back three. And then he, what he can do is he can swing, use the effects to pop the Nume and then swing over the Nume X. We're going to get the draw and that's going to be the full clear. And that keeps him on one memory. Going to play the Gabu over just to set things up. Pushes out hatch gain one and then Satsuki is going to print him one. So... It ultimately pays off, but do we have a new mate to give rush? No, we do not. We have two bodies on board, five security to zero, a Wegarumon and a Gabu. Gabu X is gonna find Garuru. Hmm. Gonna swing. He's gonna pitch one to pop the lowest level, hits the Chikuri, hits Sanuko in security. Oh, that's big enough. The 2k matters. Gonna go into the Garumon, puts us down to zero. Gonna gain back one. Ooh, the one of? What's he, what's he digging for? That's the problem. There's no blocker, there's no... I don't, I don't think he has anything. Like, we are just gonna move out and then this is gonna be Nume taking it. So we are gonna finish just short of overtime. Jambo gonna move into finals with Nume. If you like what you saw and you do want to see more, make sure to like and subscribe and we shall see you in the next one.